Hi everybody, my name is Caroline and thank you for joining me for this video. Before we get started, please remember to put your devices on mute as I will be using the wake word frequently in this video. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to create an Alexa skill without writing any code. And your first question is probably, what is an Alexa skill and why do I care? Let's first talk about what is an Alexa skill. In my opinion, an Alexa skill is like an app for your smartphone. For example, when you got your smartphone, it just told you the time, you could read your text messages, and you could make a phone call. But then you installed all these great apps, some of them social media apps, some of them productivity apps, and you're able to do a whole lot more. Now that's what an Alexa skill is trying to do for you. And a lot of developers out there, a lot of companies out there are taking some of the functionality from their mobile app or from their website and putting it on Alexa today. A lot of name brands out there. Let me just demo for you some of the apps that I have created for Alexa. All of these skills, should I say, I created by writing in code, uh, specifically Node.js code, which is a flavor of JavaScript, and I submitted them to Amazon. They were all approved, and now they're available for mass distribution on Alexa. From my phone, I'm going to hit the Amazon Alexa companion app. And this is the app that I use to set up my Amazon Echo in the first place. So you should already have this on your phone if you already own an Amazon Echo. And from here, I can see the weather. I'm going to hit the menu button in the top left-hand corner. And I'm going to hit skills and games. And from here, I can see suggested skills that they have. I can see staff picks, open the daily, would you rather? So there are games on here. There is information on here. There's Jeopardy. We've played that. There is Help Me Sleep. For example, let's search on for one of the apps that I've created. So I'm going to hit search. And I'm going to type in balance. And now you see I've got the balanced running and balanced running podcast. But we're just going to hit balanced running right now. And it says it tells you how to invoke the skill. Alexa, ask balanced running for the tip of the week. It's all about the base, about the base. No trouble. Okay, I can't sing. Okay, so what is base? Base building means that you're building up your body. Please check back every week for fresh running advice from Tina Klein. Goodbye. And that was one of the skills I created to provide running advice from a world ranked and all American track athlete, Tina Klein. And uh, you can check that out. I also wrote a skill about my alma mater, uh, Georgia Tech. So I'll say, Alexa, launch Rambling Wreck. I'm a Rambling Wreck from Georgia Tech. Ask me for the good word. What's the good word? To hell with Georgia. And that is uh, one of our sayings that we have at Georgia Tech. Uh, so those are a couple of examples of skills that I've written. Um, I've also written one that looks for apartment rental prices. So I'll say, Alexa, open apartment rent. Welcome to apartment prices. This skill provides the latest Zillow median rental prices. Please start by saying pricing by zip or pricing by city. Pricing by city. Would you like pricing for a studio? One bedroom, two bedroom? One bedroom. Which city and state would you like apartment pricing for? New York City. As of January 31st, 2019, the median rental price for a one bedroom is $2,299 per month in New York City. And it pulls information and it provides it verbally. That's three examples of skills that I've created. Now, Amazon has opened up the ability for you to create your own skill without writing a single line of code using their platform called Blueprints. And I'm gonna show you how to use Blueprints to create a trivia skill and then submit it to Amazon for approval. And why am I saying submit to Amazon for approval? Well, this is Caroline's YouTube channel. I represent Caroline. I am not an employee of Amazon, nor do I approve skills for Amazon. I will go through you know, some of the FAQs, where to find resources to find out if your skill will be approved or not. At the end of the day, I don't decide if your skill gets approved or not. So that's why I say submit to Amazon, and if you meet their guidelines, your skill will also be approved. Now let's get started. 
Now, I've featured blueprints on my channel before, and I will link to those videos below. I did a three-part series on blueprints, on things that you could create in blueprints. Now, that was a few months ago that I created those videos, and at that point, you could not make those skills public to the world by submitting them to Amazon for approval. Now you can. For this project, you'll need your laptop computer. I will start by going to blueprints.amazon.com and I'm already logged in. If you're not logged in, you'll need to go to my account and you'll need to log in with the same login and password that you used on your Amazon Echo device. This is very important as when you're testing this, you want to test it on your actual device. Next, you'll see how to create an Alexa skill in minutes and you'll see the three main steps you need to do this. One, pick a blueprint. Two, fill in the blanks. Three, use, share, or publish your skill. And it's really that simple. It's really a three-step process. Now, if you've watched my previous videos, and I'll link to those below, I featured a few of the blueprints uh, that you'll see below. Now, I'm going to feature a new blueprint in this video, and I am going to choose a trivia skill. Right here it's called trivia and you create multiple choice answers. That means you'll have to create the question and you'll have to give multiple choice answers and then the user will pick the correct answer. Now I don't want to do that. I want to make a quiz skill. So under learning and knowledge there's quiz right here and these are open-ended questions. So I'll just put in the question and then the user will be expected to know the answer without receiving multiple choice uh, answers. I am choosing quiz. I'm going to click on quiz and uh, it gives you an example of what the quiz is going to sound like and then you can uh, play that. I'm not going to play that right now. I'm just going to hit make your own and now I'm going to make my own quiz and so I want to customize my quiz. What are the, what are, these are some sample questions and it is optional if you want to have a follow-up fact here. What am I going to make a quiz about? I'm going to make a quiz about an elementary school in my general area here. And my cousin is actually the principal of this elementary school. So that's why I've chosen this specific elementary school. So let's uh, start with our questions. Okay, so who is the principal of Oak Grove Elementary? And I'm going to put the answer, Penny Valle. And I don't have a follow-up fact. I'm going to just delete that out and I'm going to continue doing this and I'm going to add all my questions and answers right now. And now I have all of my questions and answers put into this quiz. So I've got who is the principal, who is the assistant principal, uh, when did Oak Grove open, which county is Oak Grove located, and which city is Oak Grove located, and I put down my answers. And for when it opened, I have um, a follow-up fact uh, oh so. Now I'm going to hit experience and I'm going to move on. And now I'm going to say, okay, so welcome to uh, the Oak Grove Elementary Quiz. And then I'm going to say, um, player greetings, welcome aboard. Okay, I'm going to keep the same player greetings here. And then winner responses, I can choose different responses. I like, I want to be cheered on. Yeah, that'd be great. And then if this is an echo show, you can select a background image. I don't think at this point you can upload your own image. So you just have to select from what is available. Okay, so next I'll click name, say Oak Grove quiz, and I'm going to hit create skill. And now it's going to create my skill. My skill is created and now I can say, Alexa, open Oak Grove quiz. Welcome to the Oak Grove elementary quiz. One to four players can play. How many are playing? One. Player one, give me a nickname to call you, like Crazy Cat or Rocking Robin. Crafty C. Hi, Courtesy. Hope you do great. Let's start. Answer quickly until you get three wrong. To undo an answer, say Alexa, undo. Who is the nurse? I don't know. The correct answer was Nadia Jones. Only two wrong, two answers left and you're out. Next question, when did Oak Grove open? 1935. That's correct. You now have one point. In 1935, Oak Grove opened its doors to students with approximately 100 students and four teachers. Next question. Which city is Oak Grove located? Ackworth. 
That's correct. You now have two points. Next question. Who is the principal of Oak Grove Elementary? Penny Valle. That's correct. You now have three points. Next question. Which county is Oak Grove located? Cherokee County. That's correct. You now have four points. Next question. Who is the assistant principal? I don't know. The correct answer was Carrie O'Brien. We've run out of questions. You finished with a score of four points. I even knew those ones. Want to play again? No. Thank you for playing. And that was the quiz I just created without writing a single line of code. Wasn't that easy? Next, we're going to submit it to Amazon and see if it gets approved by Amazon. And so, so I am still on the same page as when I created the skill. I can edit the skill if I wanted to make any changes, so I'll hit edit. All right, so I think, I think all of this is good. I'm going to hit experience, anything we want to change. I don't want to change anything. I'm going to hit update so I can get back to the main page of the skill. And now I, you can privately share it with others. If you just want to share, and no, this is not intended for kids under 13, you can privately share this uh, with people via email or social media. But if you want to publish the skill uh, and submit it to Amazon for approval, you're going to hit Publish to Skills Store. The name of the skill is Oak Grove Quiz. I'm going to say Alexa Open Oak Grove Quiz. And then um, the skill store name is going to be Oak Grove Elementary Quiz. It's created by me, Crafty C. That's my name if you want to look up my skills on the skills store. I'm going to hit next, details. And the category is knowledge and trivia, keywords, quiz, and test. And now you need to have a skill icon. Now, if you don't have any graphic design uh, skills here, you can uh, hit create. And let's create one together. I'm going to choose this building. It could be a school. And then I'm going to choose a, a new color. And I want to choose a new background color. And I want to add a border. I'm going to hit save. And that is going to be my icon for this skill. And I need to add a short sentence that the best describes your skill. Let Alexa challenge you with an interesting quiz about Oak Grove Elementary. We need to add a more comprehensive description of our skill. And I'm going to copy this. I'm going to say, play an interesting game of, of quiz with Alexa about Oak Grove Elementary School in Cherokee County, Georgia. I'm going to hit policy. And let's see, is this skill intended for kids under the age of 13? I'm going to say no, it's not intended for kids under the age of 13. Does it contain advertising? I'm going to say no. And then I don't have a terms of use. And now I have everything I need. And now I've got, and I'm just going to review everything. And I'm going to hit publish to store. And we'll see if this uh, gets approved. So it is in review. And I and I should hear something back within one to two business days. Now, if you've got some questions about the name of your skill or what you can or can't do, I'd recommend that you go right here to Help Center. You can see, okay, how you choose a blueprint, but most importantly, how you publish your skill. You need to understand the publication review process and what they're, what they're looking for. Rules around the opening phrase, adding details, what your category should be, and what they're looking for when you review and submit your skill. I would really highly recommend going into the Help Center and then reviewing everything under Publish Your Skill. And if your skill does get rejected, you'll, you'll definitely want to uh, review this and then make any changes according to their rules. We just left off with me submitting my Oak Grove Elementary School quiz to Amazon. Within, I would say, a day or so, that skill was approved by Amazon. I'm very pleased to say that. And now Oak Grove quiz is now available. I would say here in the US, I'm in the US. It is available here in the US if you'd like to try this out for yourself. My skill was approved as is exactly what you saw by Amazon within a very short amount of time. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye now.